Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Rachel Colton and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some basic macrame knots. So we're going to start with your basic square knot. Right now I have two separate strings attached to my dowel rod using a lark's head knot which gives me four working strings. To form the square knot you want to take the rightmost string and you're going to cross it over in front of the other strings. Then you're going to take the leftmost string and you're going to place it in front of the string that you crossed from the right. Now you're going to take that leftmost string that's on top, you're going to bring it around behind the center two strings, up through this loop over here on the right, and then pull it through. And now you're going to take these two end strings and you're going to tighten those up to the top. This is the first half of the square knot and now you need to repeat it in the opposite direction. So this time we're going to take our leftmost string and cross that over the center two. Then you're going to take the rightmost string on top of the left behind the center two strings, up through the loop on the side, and then pull tight to meet the other half. And now you have a square knot. I'm going to show you that one more time. Take your rightmost string, cross it in front of the others, take your leftmost string in front of the one you crossed, behind the center two strings, up through the loop, and then pull the two ends tight. That's your first half. Now repeat, only this time the left will go on top of the center strings, the right will come in front, around behind the center two, up through the loop on the side, and then pull tight to meet the other half. Now, if you're making a series of square knots and you lose track of which string is meant to go on top of the center strings, what you wanna do is look for this little bump. Over here, the bump is on the back and here it's on the front. So whichever side has this bump showing on the front, that's the side that will go on top next. So you want to cross the right string over, bring left on top of that, behind center, up through the loop, and pull tight. Now you can see the bump is over here on the left, so I want to have my left string going on top of the center and my right string going behind the center. And you can continue making these square knots and they will lay flat in a line. And next I'll show you how to make a twisting half square knot. For a twisting half square knot, what we're going to do is start the same way we did with our regular square knots. So our rightmost string will come across on top of the others. Left will come around in front, go behind the center two, up through the loop, and then pull tight. Now this time, instead of switching sides, we're going to continue having the right string on top of the center two. So again, right string crosses over top, left comes in front of the right string, behind the center strings, up through the loop, and pull tight. And again, we're going to continue this pattern of always having the right string go on top of the center, left comes in front, behind, and up through, and then pull tight. And you'll notice that this starts to twist. And now my string over here is now off to the right, so that comes around in front, left goes behind, and up through, and then pull tight. 
and just keep continuing with that same side, always coming in front of the center two strings. For this twisting half knot spiral, I always had the right string going on top of the center. For this one, I'm going to have the left on top of center and you'll see that it twists in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna take my leftmost string in front, then take the right string in front of that, behind the center two, up through the loop and pull tight. And again, always having that left come in front and right go around behind. You can see this one twists in one direction and this one twists in the other depending on which side you have going in front of your center filler strings. This can be a fun way to differentiate the two sides of your project if you're making a wall hanging or a shelf or some other project and you want the two sides to be opposite. 